Welcome back guys, once again we're going to teach you how to double your coins, so if you're new around here and you need coins, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course as usual, we're giving away 7 copies of EAFC, all you got to do is subscribe and send me proof over on Instagram and you'll be entered into the giveaway. We're 100 subs away from that giveaway being announced, so get your entries in as soon as possible. And of course, if you want coins in a quicker way, well... So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you, you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code pro recall go check them out below make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it now of course guys you do need coins in order to start making coins so we do need to make you some so of course we got some options of course things like objectives and squad builder challenges sometimes they're profitable now what i would suggest is taking yourself over to the icon spcs and completing all of the bronze and silver rare ones it's pretty simple they've just released david beckham so we've got a new set that you can do essentially you put 11 rare bronze players 11 reg silvers into the other one and you get back two rare gold players now especially right now with shapeshifters these are really good to do now i'm definitely going to complete both of these i've got a backlog of packs right now so i'll probably show that in another video but you definitely want to complete that along with of course the marquee matchup so obviously i've completed it already we showed it in yesterday's video we actually profited quite heavily off of marquee matchups we managed to get a shapeshifter so you know it's a very profitable sbc even if you don't get a special card you're looking at at least a 30k return of a 20k sbc which is always a really easy one Killing that, of course, if you enter yourself into foot champions qualifications, complete it. Even if you lose all the games, you get a trader reward. And of course, if you go to your club into the stadium section, you should have a lot of stuff that you can just quick sell to make a ton of coins. Now, once you have done that, you'll take yourself to the market and begin your trading. But what we're going to do, first of all, is open a 5 times 84 players pack. Now, if we get a player worth over 100,000 coins from any of the teams that are out right now, I will add an extra copy to the EAFC giveaway. So I'm praying we actually get a bad pack right now. EA really don't want you guys to be winning. They gave us Diabala, who is worth 10 times lower than what you would have needed. So blame EA. They could have given you a free game, but they decided not to. Let's get into the filters. Now, of course, on the lower end, we have a few options. There's things like if you take yourself over to PSG, you've got obviously simple filter there. If you go for Spain, and um, if you just do Spain, gold rare, you're going to have the likes of Ramos, you're going to have Fabian, and you're also going to have Solar. If you want to define this one a little bit more, you can pop on center mid there. That's just going to reduce it to Solar and Fabian. They're the most likely ones to come up anyway. You can also take off Spanish, change it over to Portugal, and you're going to have Mendes, and you're also going to have Renato Sanchez. So I'm whizzing through these ones because they're kind of the typical filters that are out all year round. Take yourself over to the Syria. if you want to do a nice little Argentina filter, minimum 10 to 50 gold rare Syria. you got Martinez and Dybala, so a nice little one based off the cards we got in that pack. Another one you can do if you take yourself over to goalkeeper, you want to do minimum 10 to 50 and gold rare and German. This one's going to bring you the likes of Neuer, you've got uh, to Stegen, you've got Trap. You should also, I want to say there's another one, but I might be, I might be getting that incorrect. Of course, once again, going from there, gold rare, you want to go goalkeeper again, you take yourself to Liga Santander, minimum 10 to 50. You're going to be looking at the Stegen, Oblak, and there is Courtois as well. So you've got a nice selection of keepers there. These are all simple filters that are around all year. We don't spend too much time on them because it's not like there's something new. We've used them in videos before. I just want to show you guys these so you can use them in order to make the coins in order to do the other filters. So with this one here, Spanish Prem, Laporte, Rodri, Thiago de Gea. So a nice little one there. Actually quite a good filter. If you pop on Liverpool as a team, I believe Canate's price range has been sorted. So that's another one you can do. You've got Jota, Thiago, Alexander-Arnold, Allison, uh, Robertson, Van Dijk. A very good selection of players there. What you can do is if you set yourself to centre-back and Netherlands, minimum 10 to 50, I believe we've got the likes of, of course, you've got Delict, we've got Doke, we've got Komen in there, we've got Gertrudia, you've got Ake. I mean, you can actually simply go for team of the season on this one. Um, if you go centre-back, don't need the minimum, and you go team of the season what you are going to find is there's actually quite a few Dutch center backs so we've got Ake and we've got Geertruda we've got Delict now of course Ake and I want to say Geertruda are probably the closest in pricing you're not really going to be finding Delict on this one I don't really know why he's still so expensive he's actually essentially useless in game but what you do want to say, of course take yourself over to is the new likes of the shapeshifter so you've got premium and you've got normal shapeshifter so if you go to the goalkeeper right now we've got a couple here uh, Cabrera is the new keeper of course I don't think we have a goal keeper if we go over to the standard side we don't so goalkeeper is not really the best one because we've only got one player however we are going to look at some of the players who are goalkeepers who've gone outfield so we also have striker as an option with shapeshifters now we've got rudiger here at 575 and i want to say 
is, is Neuer a premium shapeshifter or is he a standard? As you can see, we've managed to get the likes of these two together. Now, is Neuer actually that... Oh? Neuer's not a meal. Neuer's not a meal. I mean, he's going to drop, guys. So, first of all, this thought is going to be brilliant in a couple of days. We can do it right now, obviously, very easily. All you've got to do is pop yourself over to about, a, what, 400k? Now, I do think there will be people who make the mistake of listing Neuer too low. Um, I want to say my assumption would be that he is five-star skills. I didn't check there, but I, I can't imagine there's any other reason he would be this expensive. There will definitely be people who list him at 500k people make mistakes people don't check the game properly people are new to the game people might go on and see that there's a bid for 500k and go okay that's what i'm listening for there's a lot of people making silly mistakes that you have to take advantage of because it's fifa you know it's not a real market it's not technically real money you've got a, you, you know your your loss is another man's gain and vice versa you should rather be gaining than losing. now this next one guys it's more of an honorable mention because it is doable but it's going to be so expensive to do so we do want to obviously obviously remove richardson from this one because he is essentially useless realistically, but he has actually got 1.2. How are these card prices being decided? I suppose everyone has five star skills, do they? Yeah, I mean, this is a big fill. I didn't realize that actually Richarlison would be a big involvement, but a better version of this, obviously you can do midfielder. That's going to have a couple of players. I mean, we can actually do that one right now. So we might might, might be worth checking. What, 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 what can we do with it? One mil. How, how, how much further up do we have to go to buy ourselves with Richarlison? What's he going? One foul. Well, apparently, this is his price. So, where are we going to find one? Where where are we actually going to... Oh, he's a right wing, but someone's put him at right mid. So, someone's trying to scam us. But what we will do is a nice little one is take off midfielder, Premier League, Shapeshifter, United. You've got pretty much two bang on the same price. Both of them would be incredible next to each other in a team. I don't know if that Martial is going to be amazing because it's not five-star skills. I feel like that would give it that little bit of an oomph in my opinion, but it's probably not going to be a bad card. Now, sadly, they haven't really given us any good shapeshifter premiums, if I'm honest. I think they're all pretty trash that we've got on the market right now, but you can do a bit of a cheaper base filter for this one now. So whereas before, I think it was like 50K was the minimum, you've got one nearer the 40 mark because we've got our Cabrera. Obviously, he's going to go down. He's definitely not going to hold that value. So it's one where you're going to be able to go a little bit lower. I reckon we can probably snipe him for 35 in the next half an hour, maybe an hour. So that gives you a little bit of an easier berth on the lower end of things. Obviously, on the higher end of that, there isn't a lot you can really do. They haven't given us a a lot of really options for filters i know they don't really tend to the the kind of options you have i'd say wilfred zaha is probably your best bet in terms of a good filter or a good player to be filtering with so you can go for the defender option isn't a bad shout to pop on defender and um, the cheapest one you're gonna have is seventy thousand coins and that is going to be Becca. you've also got toko Akambi there as well and um, so both of them very very cheap and then of course if you can find yourselves a zaha i think that zaha pod that's probably to me the most tempting that one is the one that i might consider whacking in my team very soon. now we're going to go kind of down the honorable mention route again it is a good filter it's definitely usable if you have a absolute chub ton of coins shapeshifters liga santander barcelona we've got the jong with a five star weak foot four star skill moves i mean there's not really much change out of the fact that you can go center back i think that yeah it's pretty crazy we have what is going to be one of the best uh Dembele cards of all year it's a center forward center mid and cam option you know everyone's putting him at striker and absolutely railing you with him. It's going to be disgusting just to see him at all. I, I don't want to at all. Now, luckily, they've also given us a few options with the shapeshifter icons with the new team. So what we can do, shapeshifter icon, you can go Petit. So first of all, if we go French, and um, you'll have a look here. You've got the likes of Petit. I don't think they've got anyone else. So I want to say this one really simply. You just put French and shapeshifter icon, and you've got two nice Petit cards. So looking at the cheaper one here, you're looking at 300k, which is very nice. That's a really easy berth to do. And that that's, I actually think that's quite a cool card. I like that. As, as far as cards go, I think that's quite a nice little card. One's got five star weak foot. One's got five star skill moves. Pretty standard for the, the kind of vibe you go for with the shapeshifter icons we've also got if we go over to the cameroon you've got the like of eto so we've got two eto cards pretty insane price in there i mean it's not realistic if we're being honest but it's you know it, it's interesting it makes the game interesting to have cards like that and i just think it's mad that you know no one can really afford them a good one though is netherlands now because you've got rykard sadorf and we've got Van Persie, so you've kind of got a nice berth of players, and it's a little bit easier to actually make some coins, whereas before, I think it was a little bit more difficult. I mean, this Sadoff card is pretty crazy. You can also just snipe Sadoff and Van Persie by, I think, simply just getting rid of um, Little Man over there. What's his name? What is his name? I keep getting his name. Uh, Rykard. So Rykard's Max. Obviously, Footbin are usually wrong. That's one big problem with Footbin. His Max is 2.9 now, so we can't get rid of Rykard. Sadorf and Van Persie are obviously the juicier ones here, so you kind of got 
a little, a little bit of difficulty in that, but you can still use it as a filter. Now, just for some honorable mentions of some good ones that you guys can do right now. Of course, Foot Birthday, if you want to take it over to Foot Birthday, Premier League and Brazilian, that is one of the filters that I would advise doing. Emerson Royale actually held value quite well. If you pop it over to midfielder, it would just be Anthony and Gomero, so that's quite a nice one. Obviously, Royale, kind of on the cheaper end of things, really good little filter to be doing. You can also, alternatively, go forward with the same kind of thing, Nunes, Anthony, Felix, really, really easy. So you've got a couple options there. Um, if you go Brazil and forward, you've got Anthony and you should also have Vinicius, but it doesn't seem like he's there. So maybe it's uh, midfielder might be the, the better option for that, maybe. Not too sure how I don't... Oh, maybe I'm just an idiot and I had Prem. That would probably be why. So forward, Anthony, Vinny. So you've got one where a little bit more diverse. Okay, yeah, maybe there's no chance of getting Vinny, but you know, it's it, it's diverse in terms of price ranges. So it gives you a little bit of a chance of something crazy. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I know there's not many new cards out, but you know I'm going to get you content every day. So I hope you guys still appreciate that. I hope you appreciate the giveaways and make sure to subscribe, even if you don't, just to win a copy. I'll see you guys tomorrow.